Yuma's sheriff says he's already seen some federal resources get pulled back, which he says is concerning not only for Yuma, but all border communities. In a county like Yuma, Sheriff Leon Wilmot says... Resources are very limited. And when it comes to securing the border, it's all hands on deck for all law enforcement agencies. We try to fill the gap, local law enforcement does, but there's only so much we can do. He says military personnel has been vital in helping Border Patrol with office duties. That helped Border Patrol because they don't have that personnel to be able to handle all that, especially when we were dealing with the influx. In turn, allowing agents to be out in the field patrolling the border. Taking that resource away from our federal partners and not having a a game plan. With the Pentagon pulling more than a thousand troops from the U.S.-Mexico border, he says it's concerning. The, the numbers have dwindled a little bit, but the activity going out in the remote part of the, the county is still there. From 1,400 people crossing every day to an average of three to 400 people, Wilmot says it might not seem like a lot now, but there is still a lot of manpower needed to patrol and process people daily. Plus, he says things could quickly shift. Right now, when you look at the numbers, Tucson is now up 130% of apprehensions. So we're starting to see the flows moving. And the concern for Yuma is that now that they're starting to see an increase in Luke feel that it might start swinging back towards Yuma County. Sheriff Wilmot says he's consistently in talks with state leaders to help get the resources needed to help secure the border. In Yuma, Alexandra Angel, Arizona's family.